Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We are continuing our investigation of the new features of Final Cut Pro 10.2, and today Steve has something that he showed me a little preview of, and it's extremely cool. Um, it's something you can do in motion, but you can do it in Final Cut now, which is just amazing. So I'm just going to let you take it away because I love this. So I like to make short films, and one of the short films that we like to make are little horror genre films. And uh, I wanted to see if I can make a kind of a cool 3D open. Uh, for that genre. So you take a group of teenagers to the woods and chop them up, basically? <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> In fact, I came out with a name for my short film. It's, well, I'll just play it for you. Let's, Great. Okay, here it is. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? I mean, yeah, I, I, like the, I don't want to oversell animation. it, but the fact is, that 3D text you can feel at home at, on any you know cable network or you know feature, feature film, film or I mean, trailer. It, yeah. It's just it's that's incredible. That's the thing people don't understand. People are like, oh, three D text. Okay, I get it. But it's the thing is, you can make extremely professional looking titles with this yes. that could stand up to any kind of Hollywood trailer. I mean, it's it's really quite tremendous. So, how did you do that? Well, uh, let's start with the next clip because I have kind of the base title here. I just typed it out. It's already 3D and it already has that really wonderful white plasticky surface applied the to default, it. Um, the, the substance default substance uh, material. Right, so, default material. Right. So the first thing I want to do is change the material. So my playhead is parked over the clip mm -hmm. and I'm going to go over to the inspector. And by the way, I'm going to close the um, browser because I like clean. There we go. Now, so using this little chiclet, I'm going to go down. I'm going to choose this Sports brush metal. I, I pre saved you've that. Sa you've saved your own custom preset material. That's right. Okay. And instantly I have this metal surface applied or this material applied so to my title. You can see it's kind of got some reflection going on there. It sure does. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the lighting section and reveal the contents or the reveal the parameters here. And I'm going to go to this environment section. Now, the environment, in my opinion, no, it's not in my opinion, this is just the, the fact, is that. These environment maps have more effect on the look of your text than any other parameter in 3D. Yeah, especially text that has a lot of reflection that is a, a highly reflective surface that isn't very diffuse, has that, a big impact exactly. on it. Exactly. So I thought we just, I just throw on a couple of different environments so you can see, well, there's a parking lot and let's go ahead and, you know, throw on the spotlights and every one of them has a, is a unique uh, feel and look to it. And the way I think of those environments, it's, it's as if the text is sitting inside a globe and the globe is a picture, like a full, like when we look around the room, you right. kind of think of it as a globe and the, the, the text is picking up the light emanating from all around it. Exactly. So what I want to do is use one of my favorite uh, environments. environments. Thank you. I'm going to go up here to the top. I love this, this colorful environment. Yeah. This is, it's just neat because it's like a texture map of the different colored lights. And here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to spill open the rotation parameters and you'll notice there's x y and z parameters mm -hmm. and what these allow you to do is essentially shift the environment image around and change the look of the 3d text i'm here i'm so, just scrubbing so you're like rotating the globe instead of moving the text within the environment you're moving the environment around the text it, that's exactly like what you're I'm spinning doing. a globe in x y or z right but the the end result is it looks like lights are moving. Are passing across that, the text. Right. Yeah. The, the, the viewers are going to go, hey, that's a really awesome and animated environment right. map. They don't see that. They see it as the light changing, and yes. that's the point. Yes. Now, so you're, you're just scrubbing on yeah. uh, X, Y, or Z to I'm see just, what you like? I'm just scrubbing. Like, there's Z right there, and then you can scrub on, on Y, too. You can see oh, that. Cool. There's, there's the, you can yeah. go along Y axis, and there's nice. a Z. My point showing you this is that you can change how the environment image interacts with the text. Yes. Okay. So, and... Here's the problem. <laughs> That's great and all, but you'll notice when you come over here to this arrow, uh, wait a minute. Well, you uh, want to animate it to change over time. I want... That's the point. <laughs> okay. and, you can, and, you, and the point is you can't. I can't animate. There's no way no. to keyframe environmental rotation. You got it. I, I couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do something here. Now, before I do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, reset the entire, um, I'm going to set the rotation parameter as a whole. We're just going to reset, reset that. So uh -huh. we're back. And I, if I like this starting style, this starting material, what I'd want to do is probably go back into title and, excuse me, I'd want to save this as, an, as a preset, which I've already done, so I'm not going to do that for you. But okay. I see because I want to apply it to another piece okay. of text later. So uh -huh. what I want to do is open the titles browser and go to the 3D category. And I want to work with this, this fade 3D. And what I want to do is, 
bring it into motion and give myself the ability to animate the environment. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is control click right on the thumbnail and just choose open a copy in motion. Remember, all these were created in motion yes. initially. So I'm gonna open in motion. And so here I am. And this is actually very simple. All you need to do is select the title layer, mm -hmm. right, in the, in the layers pane, then go to the inspector and make sure you're clicked on appearance and text, it should be inspector, text, Appearance. appearance. Yes. This should all look familiar because it's pretty much the same it's exact controls. Same thing exactly. From Final Cut. Uh -huh. So what I want to do is reveal lighting and where would you, we expect our environment stuff to be right here in the yep. same area. But here's where it's interesting. There's that rotation parameter that I showed you in, in Final Cut. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is okay. click this little arrow. Oh, because I can see right now it's keyframeable in motion. Oh yes, thank you for saying that. Okay. It is keyframeable in motion, okay. just not in Final Cut. Okay, but now you're going to address that. I'm going to address it. So. Moving my mouse along the rotation, just kind of keeping my mouse straight away here. Click here, go down and choose publish. Publish, okay. So publish, and then one last step, file, save. Save, right. Yeah, save your changes. So okay. I'm gonna tab back over to Final Cut, and you'll notice that there now is a fade 3D copy here. Yes. So what I wanna do is grab this, drop it on top of the text that I'm working with, and choose replace from start. And it's going to it's going to take the text, but it's not going to apply that to material right. I worked with. Well, it kept your your uh, your text, what you typed. It, it sure but did. But now it went to the default. Right, which material. is why I saved, saved it. I saved it as a preset. That's why I wanted to come back up here. Yes. That's why saving these things is important. Right. So at this point, I have there. I might want to um, change the actually turn off the two D transforms there. What I want to do is change the text and bring it a little bit closer. There we go. All right. So great. Okay. Now I want to I want to animate that environment, which mm -hmm. I couldn't do before. Now, in order to do that, I want to go over to the title inspector, and you'll notice here, because we published the rotation of the environment, yeah. it shows up as parameters here that look. Under can, under published parameters. Under published parameters. Yeah. That key frameable. Totally key frameable, awesome. exactly. So what I want to do is, is set this up for a keyframe. So I'll just leave my playhead where it is. That's kind of where I want to set the starting keyframe. And actually, Let's 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 go ahead and set up where I want my Y value first. About one. Let's start there, and in terms of the X value, let me find a good place, maybe right there. So let's say I want to start there. Okay. Nightfall. So I'm going to set a keyframe for mm -hmm. just the X rotation value. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got a keyframe, and then I'm going to go ahead and move the playhead a little bit later. Let's just say for there for now. Maybe. Oops. I want to do it before the fade because okay? mm -hmm. this has a built-in fade, as you can see. Uh, well, this is a fade out title. So um, the next thing I want to do is go back to the X rotation. The one keyframe. The when yeah. I keyframe and just change a little bit of it. Notice it added that keyframe. Yep. So I'm just going to make automatically. So I'm just, you know, just, I just made a slight change. And now when I play this back, you'll notice that. Without rendering. Without rendering. Way. Without rendering, <laughs> I've got this nice animated environment. Lights moving across Lights it. moving across fantastic. it. It's just, it's fantastic. Yep. And that was just one little change yep. that I did in, in, in motion. And I just find that I have to be able to, I have to be able to environment, um, animate the environment because I have, it just makes the text look so much cooler. It's, it's a really great effect. Very, very cool. Now let's talk about your plugins for a moment. Well, yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, I wanted, I did want to mention something like if you don't if you don't want to go to Motion to publish this, it's pretty easy to do, but um, all of our Ripple 3D Title plugins, including the free one, which is Ripple 3D Title Animations, have animatable environmental rotation built in. So with the free, you can start doing this right now without start, even having to go into Motion You don't all. have to go in Motion to do that. And in, in addition to that, they have a bunch of other properties that are keyframeable that aren't keyframeable in the built-in title animations, and they're totally free. So yeah. if you have FX Factory installed, they'll automatically show up for you, you just click to turn them on, they'll show up in the titles browser, and then you can go for it with that, with that way. Or you can, you can certainly open and publish Absolutely. as well. But that's great, great tips, Steve. It's a lot of fun, Excellent. it's a lot of fun. All right, thank you. Uh, thanks for checking this out, rippletraining.com for tutorials and plugins, uh, and check us out on Facebook or Twitter, and hopefully we'll see you next week here on MacBreak Studio.